world, yeah. The sheer amount of information available to us today can be overwhelming, certainly. But when you add AI deep fakes, personal echo chambers, especially algorithms, and our own individual biases, it becomes even more challenging. So in this age of information, how do we safeguard what is accurate and real? So my first question, Josh, I'll let you start. What is, I guess, the, the, the can we discern credible source of information versus the opposite? It's very tough at a first glance, right? When you watch something for the first time, whether it's UGC, whatever, a news broadcast, it's very tough to have that critical thinking hat on. But I think that's the key is really making sure that anything that you're bringing into your brain, you always have that thought process going on in your head of like, okay, what is the point of sharing this? Do they gain anything by sharing this perspective, right? And just really thinking about it from that perspective as opposed to just, yeah, let me just take this in. Let me just take it in. Yeah. Soak up their opinion and speak it out for myself. Yeah. Um, Claudia, how do you vet content? Like how do you how do you say oh this is real? Do you just do your own research? Or, I feel like it's tough to do that for every single video that you watch on TikTok. Yeah, I mean it really depends on. I think I run into that a lot where I watch something and and it depends how you're feeling too in that moment. If you like really are absorbing what they're saying because you're in a situation because TikTok I think sometimes you go to for advice or you know because it is people's opinions and some people are giving advice right and they already know what you're thinking yeah. about yeah anyways, and that's so. the problem is the algorithm picks it up and then I'm like wait is the algorithm <laughs> it telling keeps me feeding this it to you. or is it on that point of <laughs> algorithms one thing that we also have to consider is personal choice mm-hmm. so Anthony how do you feel that our echo chambers play a play a, a, um, a convincing factor into that they play the biggest factor your bubble is the biggest factor of what information you want to take in if you are anti something, you are going to share everything that is anti what you are anti and you are going to share that narrative because I'm right and you're wrong. And that for me has been the biggest letdown of the information age. It's no, this is what I think and this is what I'm, I'm sharing, which you have every right to do. But I, I don't live in that world. Right. I don't, I, I don't want to hang around like-minded people all the time. So I go looking for stuff that's contrary to what I think because I like learning things, but I'm a different breed of person maybe. Now, we all know that there's two sides to every single story, right? Um, I guess, how, do we have equal access to both? What do you think, Josh? Equal access to both what? Both sides of the story. Both sides of the story? I mean, technically... It depends how much you really want to search, right? Because, like, mm-hmm. right. technically, yes, but the reality is we're talking about algorithms. The moment that you open your phone, it knows how to suck you in, and it sucks you in based off of your viewpoint and what you like already, yeah. and it's going to get you. So, yes, you have the access, but are you going to put in the effort to expand your access? Now, can yeah. we adjust these metrics so they reward truth over just sensationalism and, and hoping for the best thing? They won't. They Why won't. would they? Yeah, but, that, that doesn't make money. But 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 you, that's a good point. You're asking you asking a question about what is truth? What is truth? That's my question to a lot of people. What's the truth? But you can't define it. So it, opinion it, based. It, exactly. So how do we? Do, how does an algorithm define that? An algorithm is going to define what you click on. Like I on TikTok, I feel like I'm in question period. But it can still half the time because <laughs> everything that comes up. But it is, can still get both Speaker, sides to a story. Yeah, I mean, like but, an algorithm is just pushing what our own personal bias is. But I think that's is. where you have to dig for information and maybe start searching things that are the opposite of what your algorithm gives you. I get that. It's just a little okay. twisted that yeah. that we've built something that literally feeds us only one part of it. I things. clicked on a car crash video once. TikTok was <laughs> car crashes all week. Car crashes, car crashes. I, I, I When I open up TikTok, it's question period. I feel like I'm in Ottawa. I should okay. put on a suit. So, so now let me, let me ask you this. That's what algorithms are doing, though. And then just, I want to say this quickly. You, What is the truth? What's the truth? Everyone on, the, on this panel is going to have a different definition of what that is. And I guarantee you the first thing we're going to run to is what is our narrative on the subject? If we allow user-generated content to continue to be unfiltered, what harms does that play in the next decade, 20 years, 30 years? We see it right now with current atrocities and conflicts happening on the other side of the world, it's it's bad. It's really bad. What do we see in the next 30 years, 40 years? <laughs> Didn't we already see this on Facebook? This has been fact-checked, partly false, false, and there's a big thing up top. And then you have people sharing it saying, look, I was silenced. 
No, you were in silence. What you sh- what you that's shared a, was a, factually incorrect. Do you feel like there's a better way of doing it though? Because that's a, there, arguably a very biased thing. There, and that was my next point. Who's controlling what's fact checked? Now you're just this, questions. This, <laughs> but but this is how difficult this topic is we're not because answers. no, but this is how difficult this topic is. And and you know you mentioned a conflict. And I'm the, sorry, I'm gonna have to cut you off fine. like always. Go ahead. When we come back, what is our personal <laughs> responsibility as consumers? We'll continue this conversation. I may let Anthony finish his thought. We'll see. <laughs> 